so hi there welcome back to my video my video channels uh, well this is the final video about the caterpillar the d8h i finished uh, i just finished you know, right now uh, i finished this model 99 percent completely up in my uh, swedish studio and uh, i kept uh, to italy because i would like to finish it over the, the 180T 6x2 truck with the heavy loader trailer that I already presented in a couple of videos that is on the channel so you know you have to search for part 1 and part 2 of both of them and also about this caterpillar I, I made some other videos during the construction, the build up and the kit review it was quite funny you know and uh, so this is the finished model and I placed this model for for now you know it's a, it's a temporary fixing over this wood because in my idea um, this caterpillar is absolutely stunning you know it's uh, I like it so much really really so much and I was thinking that being so big the scale is huge you know it's 125 is a, is a, is a giant is a giant piece and for the moment I was thinking uh, to keep this model as a display over a, a nice wood you know painted and just with the venus that you can see and uh, keep it for some competition and something like that you know because i was thinking that when this item will be placed on its trailer and fixed with chains uh, and all the gear around you know it will be nearly impossible to move because the finished model with the trailer and so on and with a little diorama under will be something uh, that will be over sent 70 centimeters long so it will be quite huge heavy impressive and complicated to move you know for eventual contest or uh, model exhibitions you know so I, I was thinking to keep for the moment this item this way I had yesterday a brief talk with uh, my friends uh, organizing the contest around the country here and also they told me that it was absolutely better to have something like this uh, that would be possible to to keep around you know to to show in exhibition like that so for now the idea was to just to keep it like it is for i think some months you know because the, the fixing is absolutely not a permanent fixing you know i just fix it with white glue over the puddle of the track links over the wood would be extremely easy to be glued with the white glue for wood it is also very easy to remove it's just enough also after years that you just wet the area where you place the glue and the glue after some minute will retake life and return uh, jelly you know it will be very very easy to to move around and the, the item is very heavy so i don't have the problem to take it up from the base and destroy the track links if like if they were made in plastic or thin materials and so on this is a huge metal so it's no problem for me to Take it apart from from its current base you know but i think it's probably for now one of the best ideas and deal to keep it like it is now you know so the finished model is basically here i just added the exhaust pipe that i made a little weathering over on it you need you see on the exhaust and I also placed the little real leaves, you know, around the vehicle. And uh, they have been painted, of course, with oil paints. Add the little chain down there. There was a guy writing me in the comments that probably it would be nice to have a, some chains around these items, you know. And so I did. I achieved a lot of little modeling chains like that. And also some more for the moment when this item will be placed over the trailer you know the trailer is uh, is there but it's too big it's uh, honestly too big so working in this huge scale i like to do these items because i love my trucks you know i have this uh, <laughs> people that know me i have this sickness about uh, race cars tractors and trucks planes tanks nearly everything in scale you know but the, the graduation the level of uh, appreciation for myself is race car trucks tractor and so on so and planes of course so this is one of them and they wanted one in a big huge scale because they needed something to be placed over on a 
heavy loader truck you know also an idea could be but that probably would be done using uh, uh, modern tractors you know like the new Iveco Stralis or like the new modern Volvo FH4 you know and not using the OM 180T that was a truck from the 70s you know so for a truck of the 70s already showing the tag uh, Trasporto Eccezionale heavy loader in Italian it needs something really heavy on the back and on the on the back the only heavy heavy stuff that I can find in 125 scale nearly similar to 124 it's the 75 millimeter scale for figures because yesterday was in this club of uh, they are the best painter in the world about figure and historical items you know and they told me that exactly the 124 scale is more or less compatible with the 75 millimeter scale but they just have historical figures you know uh, so the idea was uh, to finish it in this way I just want briefly to show you up the model when it is complete now and this uh, yellow greenish color I think is absolutely well done many asked me how could I make it and I told them all the process you know as I already say there was a layer of green then a layer of uh, uh, sand yellow real yellow and then the bright yellow just on the lighter area heated by the sun you know I had the occasion sometimes to spot this type of, of vehicles when I go on the seaside in Italy here where I have a, a flat and uh, very often when they do works on the beach uh, they keep these items there and believe me they could be even more rusty and used and eaten by salt you know being in front of the sea I didn't want to go even more heavier with this stuff you know I already explained in the other videos how little complicated and tricky it was to think something to take away the front blade provided by AMT as I say that AMT provide in front here let's turn it in front here they feature a very very huge large blade and uh, it will cover completely the work that I made over the front grill you see also there are some leaves uh, fitted inside the grill yes it had to be absolutely used rusty and old so I wanted to keep the blade away and just to show just the mountings the connection points you know of the blade and also the possibility to show up the main feature of this model that in my opinion is about the track links you know many many yesterday asked me a lot about how could I plan for a production of uh, metal track links you know but that's it this is the best feature of the model you see real 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 metal another ultra skilled guy you know this was one of the judges of the main competition we have here in Italy very high level stuff and uh, he also told me that it was possible to make them surely in resin but I didn't want to make them in resin because anyway the overall look and the feeling the weight feeling at the end of the model could be a little different from a real metal track link as we are used to have when we build up tanks and use the free modellismo items you know that became famous worldwide just because they are in metal you know so you had to recreate something like free modellismo and um, and that's it many friends were also astonished looking the <laughs> the little tags and the little all the small tiny details that i had to this boy and, and that's it guys so i think uh, I think it's a lovely item so for now that that's that's my decision for now to keep it on this wood for some month then in the other model I have to finish it up I don't know if I can make a video with that because it's so big it's so huge that nearly don't fit this table so you have to make extra space and be very near I will see what I can do for you guys to to show it you know because it's uh, I think it's one of my masterpiece you know despite uh, I was not planning to do something so big so huge <laughs> It became uh, really really something uh, eye-catching you know so i hope you like it as i do and uh, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next